Hi everyone, hola, hola, bienvenidos. Uh, my name is Bianca and um, today my idea is a disco ball pumpkin head and a 70s outfit. The pattern Simplicity 5695. It looks fairly easy, it doesn't look like a lot of steps. This is the fabric. It is a spider web with little spiders a stretchy fabric. It is nice and soft and silky. So if you have an idea of what this is, well, let me know. But I will be using this fabric. I want to make this view for the bodice, but the pattern doesn't have that sleeve. So I'm gonna have to make it and we'll see how that goes. One more thing, uh, that's not my size pattern, so. I'm gonna get the instructions um, just so that I can ignore them and not read them because I never read the instructions. <laughs> so I got a few things pinned down. So let's get it started. Yeah. So as you can see, I made my sleeve and don't know if it's going to work out. Uh, so I just gotta cut it out and see how that goes. Yeah. I am preparing my pieces by marking them just so that it's easier for me to sew whenever I do sew. So I have the top sections marked, um, almost all of them. And this is one of the front facings. I did adjust it so that it'll fit me a little bit better. I'm hoping this is gonna fit. So we'll see once I start sewing. But I came back over here to just start marking these things up. Uh, it's just easier to get it all done and out of the way um, before I actually start sewing because I really don't like cutting things. Uh, when I'm sewing, it just breaks my flow. We're done for tonight. Right, Teddy? The next day and I'm just gonna go ahead and try to put these pieces together. I'm going to try to pin them together and then um, try it on, fit it and see how that lurks. I'm really nervous that I might mess this up because I've never, again, I've never sewn with this type of fabric. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. And also, I'm sorry if you hear the noise of my air conditioner. It is 84 degrees in the house right now. Uh, it's a little hot, so I need the air conditioner and the fan to run at the same time. So we'll get started. So I tried it and I really don't know if it's gonna work. I keep seeing my fabric, so I'll be using the, um, the tissue trick that I talked about in my dandelion dress video. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Even though I put the tissue under it, let's try that again. We have a dart. Please don't break. Oh my god. We have a dart, but the dart is supposed to go all the way down here. I'm obviously not going to redo this. I'm just not having a good time, bro. I, I'm just defeated. I think I'm gonna go to Joanne's and get the twin needles or whatever the two thingies are. Little feet bangs. <laughs> um, yeah. So I am going to stop doing this and I will work on the actual ball. I'm back from being defeated with this project and I did work on my disco ball over there that you can see it's not done but I will be working on it soon. I did reach out to everyone on Instagram asking for help pleading actually because I didn't know what was going on and 
I didn't know what was going on. I needed a particular needle. Luckily, my friend Nikki Marie from Nikki Marie Apparel, who is the creator of the shirt and shorts that I was wearing in the other day with the spider webs, she let me know that I need stretch needles. So I got these here. I'm going to watch a YouTube video to see how to change my needle because I've never changed my needle. I know, I know. <laughs> I've never changed my needle. So I'm gonna try to learn right now and figure it out. Okay, so I have my new needle in here and I am going to thread my machine and test it out. I hope you guys don't get mad at me because I've never changed my needle. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna be so sad. Okay, my friend said that I need to use a zigzag stitch. She said I need to use a zigzag stitch, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Seems to work. Oh man, this is working. I knew I needed a new needle, but I just got lazy. <laughs> Won't get one because I'm such a cheapie. Oh, good. Oh, I should have just done this. Saved so much stress. Let's get all the pieces and start sewing. I have a terrible seam, the shoulder seam, that my machine was chewing up because I didn't have the right needle but now that I have the right needle I'll try to sew over here because you can see all of this just oh. <laughs> I just ate it so I will sew that and everything else so I'll see show you the progress as I go all right so I have just completed the seams that we need so this is how it's looking and this is going to go like this oh, this is a lot of clear badge more than I'm used to showing, but that would work. God, this needle is amazing. Nikki, I can't thank you enough. I'm actually gonna put her website um, in the description box below so that you can go buy some of her items and support her. She is an amazing, amazing seamstress and <laughs> yeah, thank you. I can't say anything more. Just support her and her small business. One day it will be a brick and mortar and then you'll have one from one of her items. So make sure to support her. The next thing I'm going to do is look at these instructions. And this one, honestly, I, should, I probably should make another one because of all the issues that I came across. I probably won't. All right, so I have the facings pinned. And I'm going to start sewing that. I think I sewed this one. I don't know what I did, but I've angered my machine. And it doesn't want to do the facings. Okay, we're gonna try this again. My machine is angry with me, and um, I just, at this point, I just want to get this piece done. I mean, I just gotta get, I just want to get this done. Maybe one day I'll do another one, but and not right now. Hopefully stop showing you how terrible this is going right now, or this whole process has been. These projects, ever since the dandelion, they're just like testing me. The little ball hasn't tested me, thankfully, because I know how to paper mache and I've, it's not that difficult, but all these other ones, like, why are they doing this to me? I thought we were cool. I thought we were cool. You thought cool? Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Ow! Oh. She's so mad at me. I'll do the sleeves just to finish it and then 
I'm gonna try my best to make it work, but if not, then I'm just gonna leave it like this and uh, call it a day. I was just kidding, because I need to work on the pants. It's all right. Let's get some slippers. This is what the sleeve would look like, so I will sew this on. Or would it go together? Why do I have these inches here? Okay, so I sewed the sleeves on, and like, if you only look at this one, ooh, look at how pretty. <laughs> I can't catch a break with this one. <laughs> I'm gonna unpick this part and then sew it back on the right way. So let's do that one more time. <laughs> After I sewed the sleeve, I just had to dance a little to celebrate this huge accomplishment because this project has been really rough, but it looks really cute. I think it ended up pretty good. This is not one of my best makes, but it's looking pretty good so far. So I'm just gonna continue. I don't think I'm going to finish off the sleeves since this is done, I'm going to grab those pants and hopefully finish today. I went to look at my pants pattern pieces, but Teddy had other plans. He loves sleeping on the tissue, so I thought maybe some distraction tissue on the blanket would get him to move. It worked for a bit, but now it, uh, he just came right back. No, Daddy, no! <laughs> then he decided he wanted to play with the actual fabric, so I just let him. He obviously has other plans for me. So I have the pants pinned down, and I tried it on. I didn't film it, but I pricked myself a few times. Because I've already had issues with it, I really don't want to put a zipper in, so I think I'm just gonna close the back seam and hope for the best. And you know, if it snaps and you see some panty, just don't, just, just clap. Be, be supportive because I'm really trying <laughs> and this fabric is not my favorite. So I will sew that up and then we'll try it on. My little girl Nebula wanted some cuddles, so I had to stop sewing and give her all the love that she's requesting. And don't worry, she will definitely come give you cuddles too. Oh. I tried on the pants and they fit me a little big, so I ended up sewing the sides a little bit to make sure that they fit.